right now you're in a spiritual warfare more so than any other time so this is black light cyberspace ministry and we're gonna expose eventually expose those agents and provocateurs that's in the community uh, and I'm gonna show you or illustrate to you how to do it most of uh, us don't have good listening skills we don't really listen real good before we uh, before we uh, form an opinion about about anything because most of us judge people by how they look what type of fire what type of charisma what how they deliver words uh, what kind of swagger they got and we idol worship you know we are trained uh, uh, condition to uh, idol worship that's why you see American Idol and stuff like that so these lecturers and so-called scholars uh, we don't uh, really listen to what they say but we look into we looking at their personality and they and they out of appearance so we into personality worship especially the young ones between the ages of uh, 30 well for, let's say 40 on down you know to my man about 16 these young minds you know they got the uh the enemy got the young minds captivated you know they're using have hip hop to do it uh that's how they infiltrated the hip hop community and the same technique they use in used to infiltrate the hip hop community is how they is what they're using on the black conscious community and the black power community. Jesus said judge ye by ye fruit. Now what he meant by that was the end result you know of uh, what you produce, what the tree produces, what you judge. See if it's rotten or if it's sweet or whatever. You know, so uh, the end results of the conscious community and the black power community, it ain't sweet, it's bitter poison everybody spitting poison on each other everybody threatening each other to do bodily harm to each other and the young ones we all feed off of that because there's not enough drama in your life or excitement in your life y'all love drama y'all don't really want to be rulers y'all just want to be entertained or uh get some kind of a rush off of uh, what the brothers and sisters are doing because if you were very conscious or very astute to the enemy and what they're doing to you you would know that the money ain't worth anything the money is is uh, a debt dollar and what they're after the enemy is after is the minerals the minerals and the uh, precious metals and the, and the oil and what he could extract from the planet you know what he could extract he, what he could use to uh, uh, make money off of really not make money off of but control the resources of the planet that's all he want to do is control the 
resources of the planet. The concept that he's pushing is just an idea about Americanism, getting you rally, rallying around the flag when he himself don't rally around the flag. He could give a damn about this flag. He can give a damn about the country. He can give a damn about his own people. Oh, he, the, 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 the elite and the masterminds of the Caucasians race don't care about no one but him, him and his family. So he got y'all fooled and he's sending some agents in because he just promised them some money or a position and give them what he know that they like women and drugs and and money to fool you and keep you down and you fall for it every time so you part to blame for your own entrapment you're part to blame for your own downfall because you just like to feel good all the time and whatever feels good to you you, you want to embrace it you know you like to uh Put you, keep your head in the sand. You don't really want to see what's what's about to happen to you because you're scared. You're afraid. A lot of y'all try to be tough, you know, try to talk street, stuff like that, and, you know. But <laughs> like I say, judge you by your fruit. When they was killing up a bunch of brothers and sisters, you know, only thing y'all did was the same thing they did back when I was coming up in the 60s. Tear up police cars. Y'all didn't do nothing. Uh, no re retaliation. You know, I'm not trying to start no retaliation. I'm just telling you. Any other group of people would have been fighting. Especially all the guns and stuff that the gangs and stuff got. You know, they'd rather use those weapons on each other then on the, on your apparent enemy. Cause see, cause the, your your brother's not your enemy, man. He ain't got nothing. He's not controlling nothing. You know, you say, well, he's sitting on top of stacks of stacks of money. That money ain't worth nothing, no. You know, that money ain't worth nothing. You know, you say, well, he got he driving the Benz and he. You doing this and the other, and you so you jealous over that, you know, and put your beans don't belong to him. Because if he don't get those tags, pay that car insurance, and get his driver's license, you know, if he don't get all that, the car really belongs to him. But once he start registering for the tags, the driver's license, the insurance and all like that belongs to the to the state. And the car dealer got to register his car, registers all those cars in, in the lot to the state. Once they come off the factory, the state buy them. They got to register with the state. So the, the cars always belong to the state. So, you know, you know, I'm, I'm doing a series with, uh, with Supreme Minister John Muhammad. And I got a brother on there called Blackhawk. And... It's on, it's on YouTube, and he's talking about how to own the car without the state involvement. And we're going to pick that up at another time, but right now I feel it's urgent because the enemy is fighting among themselves. Donald Trump is fighting with the courts. There's no more Constitution. The Constitution is gone, so you can't rely on that. Uh, you can't take that to the United Nations. Uh, all the, the courts are corrupt. They're fighting each other like the North and the South, like the Civil War. So it, it's now it's your chance to get yourself together, you know, and study what's going on around you so you, can, so you won't be so gullible to all these fake, fake uh, leaders or scholars and 
whatever. So I'm going to tell you how to tell the difference. Uh, if they're not trying to unify the community, you know, unify, join forces with each other, be an ally to each other, the agents. Now think about who's, who's beefing with each other and they got the whole black conscious community and the black power community beefing among each other. Who was doing that? Whoever's doing that is the enemy. This is black power in its real form. I represent black power, the real black power. Everybody else is fakes. That's not uni trying to uni unify the community because you're going to need unity. Also, you're going to need righteousness. You're going to need truth, the real truth. This is Black Power Out, Black Light Out.